Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be introducing a plantsbymail.com giveaway. They have given away uh, gift certificates on the channel several times over the last year, and uh, I'm very thankful to them for that. This time around, though, we're actually giving away plants, and uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, I worked out with them uh, to make sure that everyone watching me, or most everyone watching me um, in the lower 48 states, would have a chance to participate in this giveaway. Um, I have two plants uh, that will work in zone five, two plants that will work in zone six, zone seven, zone eight, and zone nine uh, that will be uh, given away. I'm gonna unbox them and show you um, what, each, um, what each zone uh, can receive. And uh, I'll tell you how to uh, enter this uh, at the end of the video. If you don't understand what I mean by zone uh, that you live in, uh, the USDA maintains a horticultural zone map, they call it, and it's based on your average low temperature in the area you live in and helps us determine what plants will grow where across the United States. And there's actually horticultural zone maps for each country around the world. Um, ours are uh, based on uh, 10 degree uh, increments of average low temperature. There's at, and then they're divided actually into this is this box is for zone five. There's five A and five B, and it's uh, broken down into five degree increments uh, between A and B. Uh, if you don't know the zone that you live in, it's pretty easy to search it by um, what horticultural zone do I live in? With your zip code, will probably uh, be enough. Or you could pull up the USDA horticultural zone map, find yourself on it, look in the key, and uh, there you go. That's the zone that you live in, and. Uh, you can comment down below and there's several chances to win and I'll go over that in a minute. I want to uh, get to unboxing the plants and show you um, what is uh, what we're giving away for each zone. So um, these, I unboxed some things from them recently in another, uh, in another video. Uh, they're best to uh, open from the bottom and actually slide them out of the bottom. But I'm gonna open uh, the top here. These are very, very well uh, boxed. And uh, I'm going to, uh, there's a little bamboo hoop in these. On, if the plants are shorter, they use those little hoops to keep them from bouncing back up to the top. Uh, so let me open this bottom here and slide these out. They've got these little tabs on the side of the box right here. As soon as you open these tabs up, the plant will just easily slide out of the bottom just like that. And that's a uh, beautiful Carex right there. I've had these on my front porch the entire winter. And uh, they're quite beautiful. Again, I just open these, uh, open these little tabs on the side and the plant slides out the bottom, just like that. And this is an orange rocket uh, barberry, which is dormant right now. I did a video on that orange rocket barberry uh, last year. If you haven't seen that, when people passed the garden center last year when I had these, people would actually pull into the garden center to see that incredible cut, just wanting to know what that color was. Um, and I, I was smart enough to keep them on top of the carts to get people to do that. This is a beautiful Carex right here. It's light coming out of the box. You know, it's been in the box for about four days at this point. So it definitely needs water. So when you receive your plants, make sure you uh, yeah, unbox them quickly and, uh, you know, take the plastic off. These are wrapped really, really well. Very, very, very nice plants right there. So that is for the zone five winner. So um, let me get to zone six. These are boxed incredibly well, really. On the top here, like I say, I do need to pull that bamboo hoop out. These are very useful for other, other projects as well. So I'll hold on to those. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. I didn't expect that to actually be in flower. Uh, this is an autumn fire on Corzelia. Look at this thing. Look at the flowers on it but this is uh this is one of the encore varieties that'll grow in zone six and so zone six winter we'll get that and then everybody's favorite sunshine ligustrum this bright yellow foliage year round uh, i've done many videos on this there i've got i don't know five or six of them in my own yard here uh 
beautiful, beautiful plant. But the uh, Zone 6 winter, Sunshine Ligustrum and Autumn Fire Encore Azalea. Zone 7. These want to just come on out easy. Oh, look at this. Look at this, look at this. All right. This is, uh, this is Autumn Bonfire, I think. Yep, this is Autumn Bonfire. Flowering as well, just like the Autumn Fire was right there. This is the uh, newest one in the Encore collection. Perfect, uh, just beautiful red variety. This one's also good for Zone 6 as well, but it's part of the Zone 7 uh, giveaway. These are hardy in Zone 6 to 10, actually, so qu quite a big area where you can grow these. But this one is for Zone 7, and uh, this is a Soft Caress Mahonia. This is absolutely one of my favorite shade evergreen shrubs. Look at this beautiful foliage. It gets yellow flowers about this time of year. Um, I probably, these were shipped from Alabama, so they probably already bloomed down there. They're just getting started in my yard uh, right now. But it's beautiful texture, really nice foliage. So zone seven, Autumn Bonfire, Encore Zellia, Soft Caress, Mahonia. Zone eight. <laughs> Look at this. This is a ever amorous, ever amorous agapanthus. Uh, I did, uh, I planted the white uh, version of this in my yard last year. They've actually tried to pick their head back up already. It's going to be super cold this week, so I think they're going to get knocked back again. But uh, for zone eight, you're getting the uh, ever amorous, ever amethyst agapanthus. That one's actually hard. That's a mouthful and it's budded up to flower. Uh, I've shot several videos that have included these, including a tour of the uh, um, PDSI greenhouses in Alabama, and uh, these were in flower. They were in flower at the Baltimore show when I went to the Baltimore in uh, January. Just really, really beautiful plants. Um, and nice, super nice foliage. These don't even need to bloom. This is a, per this is a beautiful perennial that doesn't even need to flower, but it does. And uh, this is an autumn angel. Encore azalea. Man, this is a perfect one gallon plant right here. And it's budded up like crazy. Really, really nice uh, white uh, Encore azalea. Uh, this one is a uh, three by three. Okay, that's what I thought. This is one of the, uh, this is the dwarf white is uh, Autumn Angel. Really, really nice plant. But that is for the uh, zone eight winner of the drawing. And then we have zone nine still to go. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, we have we have Autumn Jewel Encore Azalea right here for the Zone Nine winner. Man, that's another nice one gallon plant right there. Um, Autumn Jewel is a really nice pink uh, variety, and it gets four by four, so nice size on it. And uh, this one will bloom in my area sometime you know, right around the 1st of April, maybe late March, early April, and then again in the summer, and then, of course, again in the fall. And this one right here, folks will be very excited about. This is actually a jubilation uh, gardenia right here. And uh, this is the one, this one has a double flower on it. It's very much a traditional gardenia with the double flower, but it has a very compact habit. So you can keep this one, you know, in the three by three range. Of course, it's got beautiful evergreen foliage and then really easy to maintain this one as opposed to some old varieties you know that you're growing because it has the big flower like this one does but uh, they got six or eight or ten feet tall uh, and keeping them down in that three foot range if you do get super cold weather in the winter because gardenias can be a little more cold sensitive than other plants having one closer to the ground that's kind of three by three seems to protect them a little more so there you go so there's the zone nine um, plants or autumn jewel encore azalea and a jubilation gardenia so how do you enter to win these? Okay, you can comment below on this video with the zone that you live in. So just say zone five or zone six or zone seven or zone eight or zone nine, whatever zone you live in, and that will qualify to win the two plants that are for uh, the zone that you live in. There's two additional chances to win. You can go over to my Facebook page, um, facebook.com forward slash HortTube, and I will link this video there. You can comment on the Facebook page directly under the video um, with your zone again. And then I'll also have an Instagram post today 
uh, the same thing, announcing this giveaway, and you can just comment down below that, and I will, I will pick a winner. Uh, the Sunday subscriber video in April, um, I'll pick a winner, and I'll remind you between now and then if you haven't, you know, commented on these things, but you'll have three chances to win, and uh, there's a pair of plants going to, like I say, Zone 5, Zone 6, Zone 7, Zone 8, and Zone 9. So here's the spread, guys. This is the uh, 10 pieces that are being given away. Uh, thanks very much to plantsbymail.com uh, for this uh, generous uh, giveaway, and uh, tomorrow I have my Sunday subscriber video going up and I'm giving away some Corona pruners from last uh, month. Um, if you've uh, entered that drawing, make sure you watch that video and I will remind you of uh, making sure you're entered uh, for the plantsbymail.com giveaway uh, for the uh, beginning of April. Thanks again for watching.